Now you're tight. We're going to be talking today about some injector sleeve rolling tools for the Cummins diesel applications. going to be the Cummins 250 series, the 855s, 903s, uh, for the copper applications, also M11 uh, and L10 copper injector sleeves, how to roll those sleeves out. And in addition, we'll be talking about our nose rolling tool for the ISX, uh, which is a single, uh, it's a stainless steel injector sleeve being used. Um, first off, we have an arbor on our rolling tool, a spring tension unit, a cage assembly, three offset rollers, this arbor inside here is actually a tapered arbor where uh, within this cage assembly, as we come downward with some downward pressure on a CE guide machine or a machining center, turning this injector sleeve, turning this arbor clockwise at a slow RPM, 45, 55 is fine. These, uh, this arbor, because these rollers are offset in this cage assembly here, they'll actually expand outward and roll the sleeve outward and upward. And as that sleeve is rolling downward, we actually have a free floating roller on this cage assembly to assist in keeping this sleeve solid in the casting, which is driven in prior into the five serrations of the nose, where this rolling tool, as it rolls outward, upward, and downward, it also free rolls and rolls out that injector sleeve at the bottom. Uh, rolling that into those five serrations in the casting to seal off uh, any, so there's no compression gases coming up into the water jacket area. Um, as we roll that out, like I say, we'll roll it out clockwise. And as I roll it out by hand right now, you can actually see I can't get that sleeve off that rolling tool because it's doing its job. It's rolling that sleeve outwards along with that sleeve elongating and pushing that sleeve downward for that roll down here at the bottom of the nose of the cat, of the injector sleeve into that casting. This also works on stainless steel sleeves. However, with the stainless steel sleeve application, because the stainless steel is a more durable material for the extended life antifreeze that the OEMs recommend, this sleeve is almost, it's difficult to roll that sleeve out at the nose so we actually had to go to a nose rolling tool specifically for the stainless steel, and then we would go back in and roll up the upper portion of the ejector sleeve. Um, so on the stainless steel, once that sleeve is driven in place, there's actually four serrations on a stainless steel sleeve into the casting that sleeve is driven into. And to use this nose rolling tool properly, we actually bolt this nose rolling tool we have a single 10 millimeter bolt, just like the injector would be on the top of the cast, and we actually bolt that into the same location. And we bolt this sleeve, at this rolling tool, into the injector sleeve. Once it's bolted in place, we have a seat and guide machine up on top. It has three flats, so you can jaw it up with a jaw, or a, 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 like a drill press jaw in a seat and guide machine. Again, a machine center. And we would turn this knob clockwise. And this knob, what this knob does is it actually raises and lowers this nose rolling tool, okay? And where it'll actually roll out that injector sleeve at the nose properly, and it's a hand feel tight. It's nothing, you don't want to put wrenches on here or anything. Uh, we have beefed up this cage assembly quite a bit now uh, to withstand some that more, that little bit more downward pressure because it is tough to seal off these sleeves into that serrated area. Uh, but it's mandatory, it's got to be done. I do want to point out that we need to keep these rolling tools well lubricated with motor oils fine. We don't want to use a cutting fluid. Fluid cutting fluids are great for carbide against copper or stainless steel. However, in this application, 30 weight motor oil is fine, high performance motor oil is fine. Uh, we want to keep these wet uh, with oil because it's, it's a bearing surface. That's to get longevity out of these tools. On this tool, we actually want to squirt it down between the arbor and the cage assembly and have it come out, these rollers here, keeping it wet. Uh, these things get dry, they get hurt, uh, and that's what wears this arbor on the inside. And when that wears, these, this cage assembly wears, and this rollers wear. That's a consumable item at that point because of the natural uh, wear on the tool. But this nose rolling tool for this has seemed to, you know, have some questions on this, but... It's keeping this well oiled, uh, bringing it down, proper spindle speed, uh, 45, uh, 55 would be fine on this, turning it clockwise, just getting this roller turned clockwise 
Um, and then bringing the arbor down by raising and lower this handle here, this knob where you'll actually raise and lower this cage assembly within the injector sleeve. And basically you get it down so it's hand tight, you're done, you really can't crank out anymore. Back it off, sock your machine, get this tool out, roll the top of the sleeve out. We have a specific one for the stainless steel sleeves, which you roll the top of the sleeve out. Once it's rolled out, just like the copper would be, uh, we actually go back in with this nose roller tool a second time to ensure that that nose is rolled out into that serrated area at the, at the, uh, in the casting of the cylinder head. So if we have any questions, you can certainly call our tech service. Uh, you can call any of us at Iron Tight. Be glad to take your service calls. Uh, we're willing to work with you. Without you, we wouldn't be here. We appreciate your business. And thank you very much.